Science. We're in the beautiful Ardèche region of southern France near the picturesque town of Vallon Pont d'Arc. Just a short distance away from this natural bridge, behind the sharp cliffs, lies the Chauvet Cave. This place is home to some of the earliest known man made paintings dating back some 32,000 years. Scientists studying the paintings only have access to the caves a few days a year in order to preserve them. The quality of the art is astonishing. Perspective is used to show herds on the run, and these early day artists use subtle shading on the animals' bodies. There are more than 400 painted animals on these walls, 14 different species including lions, rhinos and the now extinct cave bear. So what exactly are the scientists working on? A team of around 20 people are studying the paintings and others are studying the fossilized bones found on the ground because the cave was also used as a hibernation ground for cave bears which are now extinct. Here you can see a reconstruction of one of the skulls found on the ground inside the cave. Here is the end of the animal's snout, the back of the skull, so it's a large, fearsome male. What is extraordinary is this, the way prehistoric man observed this animal very closely. The forehead is nearly perpendicular to the nose. Here you have the end of the snout the mouth, and for the first time, the use of shading, which gives depth to the animal's cheek. Then in the second part of the cave, there are the famous panels of black paintings. There you have four horse figures, the most beautiful of which has been made using shading. The cave was named after potholer Jean-Marie Chauvet, who discovered it in 1994, along with Eliot Brunel and Christian Hilaire. Since the cave is closed off to the public, a reproduction site is being built two kilometers away, which is scheduled to open in 2014. It will give visitors access to a 3,000 square meter copy of the Chauvet cave, its paintings and fossils. Even the atmosphere within the cave, including temperature, humidity and smells, are being recreated for visitors to get a taste of the real thing. In order to recreate the cave with precision, scientists in this laboratory at the University of Savoie in eastern France are working on a 3D model with the use of advanced cameras. The idea is also to better understand the long history and evolution of the cave. The 3D reconstruction of the cave enables us to see it the way the prehistoric men did. It will give us a vision of the environment inside the cave. Here's the Ardèche Valley and you can see the cave very clearly at the bottom of the valley. This is what it was like for prehistoric man. And then at some point around 20,000 years ago there was this huge rock slide. The cliff collapsed and shut off the cave forever. Nobody could enter the cave after that, which explains how the painting survived and are still in perfect condition.